I must be alone a great deal. What I have accomplished was only the result of being alone, said Franz Kafka. Today we are here to discuss, is marriage a magic glue that brings and keeps people together? Or are wedding rings the smallest handcuffs in this world? <laughs> the reason marriage came into existence was to break the spirit of people and to keep them in check. If you spend the majority of your adult life bickering over trivial matters, you will never get to ask the important questions in life. People who are unmarried after a certain age are considered to be odd. There must be something wrong with them. Whenever I hear about marriage, the first picture that comes into my mind is of uh, Atlas, the Titan. Atlas was a Titan, strong and proud. Then he was punished with holding the globe above his head. He was bent down under the pressure, but he could not keep it down. Marriage is something similar. Before marriage, men are like titans. After marriage, they are atlas holding the globe, praying for their dear lives. For every atlas, there is also a Hercules who was tricked into get, into the uh, carrying the same burden and almost died under the pressure of it. Suppose you get married and after that you realize that this is not the thing for you and you made a big mistake. What happens next? The only two options available to you are stay in that poisonous relationship or get a divorce. The divorce rates in most countries have reached an alarming rate. In US it's 58.8%, in UK it's 42.6%. In India, it's 1.1%. So you may say that marriage is working in India, right? In a country like India, where common sense of often plays second fiddle to traditional values, mar marriage cannot be dissolved so easily. Divorce is not an option. Dowry has become an inseparable part of the Indian marriages. The initial idea was to provide one's daughter with a small amount of money, a piece of capital so that she could start her new life. But now it has become a protection racket, where a large sum of money or regular installments have to be paid, else the consequences will be very very bad. It is deplorable that in today's society, dowry and dowry related deaths still exist. Domestic violence has been on the rise for decades now. Feminists claim that 70% of women in India face domestic violence. Though the figure may be a bit exaggerated, this is a sad situation nonetheless. The government of India came up with the Domestic Violence Act. This is a beautiful piece of law. It allows only the women to file a complaint against their husbands. Now what started as a measure to protect women has become a weapon to harass men. It is the proverbial sort of damocles hanging above every husband's head. You don't like my cooking? I shall meet you in the court. Even if there was a law which allowed men to protest or file a complaint, how many men would actually use it? Who would go to in front of the court and say, Sir, I was beaten by my wife. You would be the lucky of all people. Broken marriages give birth to broken people who are insecure, self-destructive, commitment phobic and afraid to let anyone into their lives. Marriages were supposed to be the cornerstone, the foundations of a civilized society. Look around and tell me, if this is true. Marriages may not be the sole cause that the world is in dire straits today, but a majority of the blame has to be laid at marriage's door and its failure as an institution. Thank you.